cupcake artist. And today I'm sharing with you a recipe for red velvet cupcakes. It's a southern classic and I figured it would be something everyone would enjoy. And I hope you enjoy learning how to bake them and eat them. Uh, to begin our cream cheese frosting, we're going to start with 8 ounces of uh, cream cheese. Let it get up to room temperature so you can mix it very well. And I'll put that in. And then we also have one stick of butter that's also at room temperature. And we're going to cream these together really well. Okay, uh, for your, when you're creaming your cream cheese and your butter, you want to go ahead and let it cream about 30 seconds to a minute on high. If you have a you know, big mixer, it's probably going to be much quicker. Um, otherwise, your ingredients won't be as incorporated before you start adding your powdered sugar. If you have everything creamed really well, then you want to go ahead and start adding your powdered sugar. And I would recommend that you just add a little bit at a time and let it kind of uh, mix so that it all gets uh, mixed together. So we're going to go ahead and add that right now. And so you don't have the big poop factor when you add your powdered sugar. It's always best that you turn it off and add a little bit. Start it on slow or you will be in trouble because it will make a mess and go everywhere. Trust me, I found out the hard way. <laughs> And as it starts to mix, we'll also scrape the bowl down again so that you can make sure you're getting everything incorporated very well. And this process goes pretty quickly. You just need to kind of keep scraping your bowl down, make sure you get everything at the bottom. Otherwise, you sometimes get some of your powdered sugar and sticks to the side of the bowl and it doesn't get as uh, mixed in. This will be sure. Sure. Um, as you're mixing in your powdered sugar to your cream cheese and butter, I find sometimes if you see your mix starting to get a little thick, you can add um, water, a little bit of water, a couple tablespoons at a time to loosen it up. Some people like to use milk. Um, for my recipe, I just use water because I figure it doesn't need anything more. It's already got the uh, butter and cream cheese. Okay. Also, I find that when I'm um, filling up my piping bags for convenience and easy hands-free, and get your piping bag all ready in just a minute, and I just find a cup that I can kind of put it over, and then that way I have a little more feasibility to fill up my piping bag. So it's a neat little trick that I've learned. Um, to use so that I can kind of keep my hands free a little bit more and not uh, make as much mess, hopefully. our next layer and just go up just like that. Um, once you've frosted your cupcake you can leave it plain or you can add sprinkles, get the kids involved if you want to have them um, add a little uh, chocolate sprinkles or something to it. Here at Your Cupcake Artist our specialty is chocolate art which we like to finish and place on the top of the cupcake. Enjoy. 